My name Edmond Yakane, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to appreciate President giving a time during his visit to Kenya to meet with the opposition leaders who are non-signatory to the R access within the spirit of the Tumaini. And we hope that His Excellency President will meet with the government and the stakeholders too over the issue of the Tumaini because Tumaini is very important. We are aware that the withdrawal of the SPLM IO from Tumaini process, it is a political handbrake that requires some clarity and some understanding and some proper explanation and presentation of the outcome of the Tumaini in terms of language that match with the language of our access. As we keep repeatedly saying, Tumaini is not undermining our access, Tumaini is not undermining our Tigono, but Tumaini is offering an implementable political framework where we look at the pending task of the our access and the ideas that merge from the declaration of principle that was signed in Rome between Artigono and the opposition before the split of the opposition into Soma under General Thomas Cirillo and Soma under General Paganamo. Since Tumaini has brought in other opposition parties to the table, I would like to urge His Excellency President that technical political handbrake that has happened in front of the Tumaini requires his personal decision and that also requires him to engage his excellence first vice president to take also a personal decision for the sake of gaining an implementable political framework for transitioning the country from violence to peace within the parameters of the R access and the declaration of the Rome, which was signed between the R Tigono and the opposition and non signatory to the R access. It is a moment of leadership decision. It is a moment of a leadership that believe on securing the best interests of the citizens. It is a moment of leadership that really take responsibility and show the nation that sovereignty is defined by their decisions and their actions that adhere to the principle of leaders as servant of citizens. They should save citizens at their various political capacity. Moment has come for His Excellency President and His Excellency First Vice President and other Excellencies Vice Presidents to take a responsibility of standing firm for the best interest of the country, which is an implementable political transition from violence to peace. Thank you very much.